Hey guys, got another YouTube rotisserie video going on right now. Uh, what you see here is turkey breast, which I'm doing for tonight's supper. I've got a 5.27 pound turkey breast. All I did was put some olive oil and uh, some general spices, salt, pepper. I have a, one of these blends you get at the store, which is one of those all-purpose seasonings. I just put that there. On the bottom is a bed of vegetables, your standard uh, mirepoix, you know, your onions, garlic, celery, baby carrots. I gave the same seasonings to the veggies that I did the turkey. So, you know, after sprinkling it with some uh, extra virgin olive oil as well, mixed it up some. I'm going to use that to make a turkey gravy later. Okay. So at 5.27 pounds, the rotisserie instructions recommend 12 minutes a pound. So that's about an hour and three minutes. So I'm going to do like an hour and five minutes. So I'm going to close it up. And put this for about, there's an hour right there. So about an hour and five minutes. And I'll catch you back in the next segment. So this looks like it's almost done. It's already been close to an hour. And the turkey breast is looking very, very, very good. Uh, I realize I did keep the timer that they usually have in the stores. It looks like it's popped, so more likely it's done. But I'm going to go buy my trusty meat thermometer. I believe this needs to be 165 degrees Fahrenheit, which I will check. And the vegetables, as you can see through the glass, are roasted up very nicely. Uh, you can see the turkey dripping all over the vegetables. That's going to be great when I make the gravy. I'm not really going to show a video on that. This is pretty much just Breast, but I anticipate that this is going to taste really, really good, just like some of the other stuff I've done in the history. Um, I love it. I think it's great. This one is rated at up to a 15-pound turkey, which between now and Thanksgiving, we figure that's seven more months away. I'll probably test it with a 10-pound bowl turkey. So, have a great weekend, and I'll catch you on the next